everyone and welcome back to another video of SwiftUI Crash Course. So in today's video we'll be discussing about image view in SwiftUI. So we'll see how we can add an image to your screen and how we can customize it to um, make it rounded or make it square. So we'll see everything in this video. So let's get started by opening export. Alright. So I already have the project open. I assume you already know that how to create a new project and the basic template files that come with it. So I already have it open. If you don't know, you can just go back to the previous lecture and see how can how we can create a new project. So when you will create a new project, this these are the template files that are already present. So you can see here that one image is already available and there is one text to, uh, below it so we'll just remove this as we only want to see how the images work so here you can see that there is an image with a parameter of system name and here they are passing glow so apple has a few system icons by default that you can use globe is one of them if you if you want to check the list of all the images that are available like the icons that are available in apple by default there is one cool app like sf symbol beta you can install this app and here you can see all the images that are present by default in swift ui like if if you want to use any of them let's say if i want to use this car car dot fill so i just need to copy this car dot fill and i can just paste it here and you can see on the right hand side on the canvas that the car icon has come so these are some icons that are already available in SwiftUI and you can use this SF symbol beta application to browse through all these icons. And whenever you want to use these icons, then you have to use image system name. And if you want to add your custom icons or images, then there is an asset folder in which you, uh, you have to first add those images. So let's say you have some images in some folder. I already have it in my downloads dummy images. So here are two images that I have and I will just drag it to the assets folder. Okay. So you can see in the right hand side that we all uh, we got the images. One is the Ratic Labs logo and another is a person just posing in front of the camera. All right. So what if I want to use these images in my app? So here instead of using system name, we can directly write image and the name of the image. So here the name of the image is one and two. So we can directly write it down as a string one. We don't have to apply the extension. We can just simply write down the name. So the canvas is loading. Okay. So as you can see the image here is actually white so that's why on the canvas it's not appearing because the background is also white so let's for now check the image too which is which is colorful so let's just see image 2 how does it look on the screen all right so we have passed 2 as the image name and you can see on the right hand side that the image has appeared and currently it's taking all the uh, space that is available to it because we haven't provided any frame to it. So this is how you can just directly add an image to the assets folder and directly use it in your project. Now, what if you want to customize some of the elements? Like what if you wanted to make it rounded or just uh, add a border to it? So we'll be seeing what are the customizations that we can do to an image all right so first of all to make any changes in its size we will have to make it resizable so that we can change the width and height of it so once we have made it resizable you can see that image is shrinking actually so we can add a modifier which is a scale to fit And you can see that image has scaled itself to fit. All right. What if I want to add a border to the image? For that, we can use border. And here we can give red, and we can also pass a width of 10. So you'll see that a border is applied to the image. 
all right so uh, and our next modifier is so most of the time you have seen that uh, whenever you open an app and you see a profile picture is most of the time is in a rounded circle so what if we want to create something like that for that we can use first of all we'll up, uh, add a frame to it so that the width and height are limited so i will add a width of 100 and a height of 100 okay yeah uh, it's looking very smaller so let's make it 250 and height also 250 all right yeah and what if i want to make it circular so for that we have a corner radius property so if we apply a corner radius of 10 you can see the sides of the images have actually uh, be rounded now it's not visible so let's make it 100 yeah so now you can see the corners have been rounded to 100 so if we want to make it circular we will have to first of all let's make it scale to fill so if we are keeping scale to fit then the image is actually taking a little space in which it can fit itself but the frame of the image is bigger so that's why we have made it scaled to fill now so it's scaling it all the space that is available to it and now when we add a corner proper corner radius you can see the image is little uh, looking a little circular but not complete circle so to make it complete circle we can make the corner radius 125 125 that is half of the available width and height so you can see if you make the corner radius 125 the image is now circular so that is one way of doing it uh, the other one is we can actually give it a clip shape this is a functionality that has been added in swift ui it was not present in swift so here we can directly add a modifier named clip uh, clip shape let's just remove this corner radius and here we can just pass circle so you can see this is having the same effect of that of corner radius and this is looking pretty neat in corner radius you had to uh, do some calculation like half of the width or half of the height but in clip shape you just pass a circle and it is adjusting itself in the uh, and making itself a circular image now let's see uh, the this is image 2 what if I want to use image 1 so you can see that image 1 is actually a white image and uh, that's why it's not appearing in the right hand side because this is actually the background color is also white and the image is also white so let's just change the background color of this to some other color let's say make the background color as blue so that our image appears okay now that we have added a background color to it uh, we can see that our image is appearing now uh, but it's not looking good it's actually cropping so let's make it a scale to fit yeah so now you can see that the image is adjusting itself in the area that is the frame that is provided to it and uh, now as the image is a png image with a transparent background what what if i wanted to change the color of the image so there is a one way of doing it which is we can change the rendering mode of it to a template image currently it is an original but we want to make it a template image so once we make it a template image we can actually change the color of it so you can see that once i made a template it was actually an a uh, white image but now it has changed to black now that it has changed to black we can just remove the background color and there are many more things that we can do to it and let's also remove this clip shape and now that you have made a template image we can actually also change the foreground color of it so we can give it any color that we want so if i make it red 
the logo will change to red color if i make it blue it will change to blue color so that's how you can also edit an image in your swift ui project it should be a png with transparent image if it is a jpeg then it won't to make much difference on it so yeah these are some of the basic modifiers that we use every day now and then in our apps so i thought to include these in our video and if you want to see uh, and check more modifiers then you can just visit the documentation link that i'll be attaching in the comments so all right i will see you guys in our next video and if you haven't subscribed already please hit the subscribe button thank you